Hey guys and welcome to another video. This is going to be really exciting because I'm going to teach you everything you've got to know about how to make this pedestal arrangement. So let's go. soaked our oasis and put it in a single tray we're then going to make our base out of long linear foliage so I've got some palm leaves here and essentially we want to make a triangle shape so it's a, a traditional shape in a triangle so I've also got some eucalyptus here we're gonna leave it quite long and just put it in the center of the oasis at the back okay so as you can see we're getting that triangle sort of shape then with the other palm leaf, I'm going to come round and put it exactly the same as we did on the other side with the palm leaf. Then we just want to add some more of the eucalyptus. This side and another bit that side. So for this one, we're just going to be using Scenario Eucalyptus and the palm leaf as well. Then we're going to want to come and fill out the centre. So we essentially sort of want to make a belly shape here so it's not completely flat. So then you can see it at all sides of the arrangement, at all different angles, you can see the flowers. And it's going to be front facing, so we don't need to put anything at the back yet until later. So I'm just going to fill it out, like coming out towards you with some of the bits of eucalyptus. So I'm going to use about a packet of these and come out through the bottom as well. You can have it draping down a little bit as well, as long as you keep that triangle shape and put one in the middle at the front and another one at the side like that and there we have our structure with the foliage now we can just add random bits into the middle as well so one coming out this side one coming out the other side then I think I'm going to use some leather leaf as well so about half a pack of leather leaf just so we can fill in the gaps more before we start putting the flowers in. Now, at this time of year in the summer, it's not really, really prime season for eucalyptus and leather leaf as well. Like, as you can see, this leather leaf, it sometimes has some like brown edges on just because it's been really quite dry um, and hasn't been as hydrated as it would in the winter years. So I'm not actually going to use that. And then as you can see on some of the eucalyptus, like here for example, we're just going to take those off because they just haven't been hydrated and they've just become a bit dry in the summer season. So I'm just going to continually add the leather leaf in, but don't come out further than the foliage that we put in to create the structure because we still want to have that triangular sort of shape. So I'm just going to add in the last bits of the eucalyptus and then we'll start flowering. So the flowers that we're going to be using today are sort of bright colours. So we've got some lime green carnations, we've got some yellow gladioli, we've got some pink roses, orange roses, We've got 10 stems of blue delphinium. We've just got the one, uh, some flowers, so that can be like a bold statement in the arrangement. Two purple hydrangeas and one blue. So let's start putting those in. And before we do put the flowers in, we're just gonna make sure all the flowers are nice and conditioned. 
Okay, so we've only got a few roses, so they don't need much conditioning. Just make sure all the guard petals are off as well, so they look nice and fresh. Even though they are fresh, they do come from Holland, so they are going to have a few guard petals and a bit of bruising on. You can just take those off. Then with the carnations, they just have little bits of foliage on. You can take those off. The gladioli, um, they sometimes have some extra leaves at the bottom. You can take those off as well. The delphiniums, you don't have to take much off of those. They've just got a bit of like greenery at the bottom and that's all fine and then with your hydrangeas I would recommend taking all of the leaves off because they drink from their petals mainly hydrangeas do but when the water goes up the stem you want the water to be, to be going straight to the petal if we leave the greenery on the water will be going to the greenery and there's no point and your hydrangea is going to last longer if you just don't have any greenery on them at all Okay, so let's start putting the flowers into the arrangement. So first of all, I'm going to start off with the blue delphiniums and put the highest one at the back, nearest the highest level of foliage as well. Then we're going to use the foliage as a sort of structure, so we don't really want to go any higher than that foliage because it's going to protect it in a way as well, and we want to keep the shape. So whichever way our foliage is going, we're going to mimic this with the flowers as well. So really keep in mind that triangle shape as well. And one in the middle. So that's sticking out towards you. Then we want to put one at the bottom underneath as well. Here. Then we want to do the other side. So one here. One down here. One the other side. And then we've got two more. So I'm going to put them in the centre an angle to the left and at an angle to the right as well. Okay, and then I'm going to put our main focal flower in here, which is a sunflower. I'm going to put that right in the middle. Okay, beautiful. Then we've got three hydrangeas here. So I'm going to put one high up at the back, so that's just above the sunflower and just below the delphinium. Then put one of the purple ones here and one of the other purple ones here. Now if you can see that we essentially go in triangles as well. So in a traditional sort of arrangement, florists work in odd numbers and triangles. So if you can see, so say this one's the highest point and then it goes to that one and that one, that's a triangle. These ones are triangles, those ones are triangles and then even the hydrangeas here, they go in a triangle as well. So as long as you can see that your flowers are going in sort of a triangle way, then you know you are good to go. And even like the whole structure of it is a triangle. <laughs> so we've just got to sort of stay on those bases. Then we'll put the 10 orange roses in. Let's put them down there a sec. And again, we want to sporadically put these in, but in a structured way. So if you think that's the top of the triangle, we need to make a triangle. So I'll put one down here, and then one here. And if you can see, that has made a triangle. Then I want to put one in the centre here, one up here, and once you get going with this triangle you, you can literally just naturally know where the flowers go then, and they, they will always just naturally go in that triangle shape. Put one over here. Yeah. And then one the other side. 
Oh, that one's a bit crooked, that one doesn't want to go in. And then I'll pop one here as well. Okay, then we shall put in our green carnations. So we just really want to find where the gaps are now. And then start putting these in here. All the colours are coming together really nicely. There. And then one over here as well. Okay, then we've got some pink roses to go in. I know they're not the brightest of pink, but it sort of like cuts up the solid sort of bright colours. And as you can see, this is more like a spaced out arrangement, so it's not compact, so you can use less flowers for the more of the wow factor. Because nowadays, like modern sort of um, pedestal arrangements, they're very compact and way more expensive because you're using more flowers to make the same sort of wow factor. So this is why these are still popular to this, this day. Then I've just got five yellow radio lies that we'll just put in as well. So we'll put some at the back coming to the front. Oh. See, this is when you know you're getting a lot of flowers because you can't actually find where the oasis is. And then any bits that just need to add a little bit more drama we can put the gladiator into. Okay. And then brilliant. Now I can see that we can still see some of the oasis. So what we're going to do is just grab some more foliage and then we're going to fill the gaps with the foliage. So any gaps you can see, I'm just going to go round and put smaller units of leather leaf in. You don't have to go really long with the stems here because it covers a bigger surface if you put the, the length of the stem shorter. Well, so we don't want to see any of the mechanics. Okay, so then I'm just going to turn this around and we can see. Well, this is a front facing arrangement, so the back doesn't really matter, but I don't like showing the mechanics like this. So what I do, I just get some leather leaf. I put it quite densely with a long stem in, just so we don't have to use absolutely loads. Because essentially, this is you're gonna have to buy these leather leaf and they're not being showcased. So it's a bit of a waste of money when you could be putting like sort of more flowers in there to make it look a bit more wow. But at the same time, I really don't like showing any of the mechanics, even at the back, even though you can't see it. Okay. And then, if there's any gaps at the sides, just shove some more of the leather leaf in there. Brilliant. And then the other side. Shove some in the gap, and then we are all good to go. Right, it's starting to rain now, guys. So I hope you really, really like this in this video. Please remember to leave a comment if you've got any questions. Please like and subscribe, it really helps this channel grow and helps us create more videos just like this one. And I hope to hear from you soon and we'll see you in the next one.